storm. Turn the sound down. <clears throat> Turn the sound down. Turn the sound down, somebody, on the TV. No. There, okay. And Now go through that again now. <coughs> I did right there, that's all. Right us by one more time. I just got it going. Now he's going to shut up. He has to miss. Just naive as he could be to think, well, here we are, one little speck of sand in the entire universe, and we possess. <laughs>
So you think a spaceship landed about that time? Yeah. Across civilized man. I think the aliens had the ability to instill intelligence in any form of being they wanted to instill it into. Do you think that they are still having control and are uh, able to uh, mold people under different characteristics? Uh, I think it happens about every millennia. How often is that? Thousand I'm believing years. it's a thousand years. We're in one of them right now. We've made more strides well, in the last... Out of one. <laughs> well, I mean... What I'm saying is you get more, they instill further intelligence every thousand years and then let you go on your own. Yeah. And then it comes back again. Are they ever going to Look at what we've done. Well, the day's out. Let me get the hecklers over here. There was something about hecklers in Hyde Park there on TV. Well, I don't think they Look at the steps and the strides that's been taken in the last hundred years compared to everything that's happened. No. Well, there are a lot of different they, theories on that. Are we going to get into religion now, real quick? Well, not particularly, because I bet you don't even go to church. No. Well, I don't think that uh, churches <laughs> even worship God. Most of them, I think, half of them worship the devil. Oh, right. Why do you believe that? Because people don't do like they say they, they want to do. They just do the opposite. That's it for the poor. I would agree with that. <laughs> I don't think there's anybody don't think anywhere that I've ever seen. Now well, we got to go and both of us talk at the same time. <laughs> Who does? Who needs life? About okay, let's get that off the heckler over there. <laughs> well, now I can name a few that I think that have the same thing. Now, the Bible says to live. But Mr. Stamp, you don't think so? A man to live like the Bible says to live would have to give up all the material things. Yeah, here and also Earth. he would he would he'd have stop. to sell his house and give the money to somebody that needs it. <laughs> and he would have he couldn't hold a job, there's no way, because he'd have to devote his tabs to Jesus Christ. Yeah, he wouldn't reproduce, he wouldn't have time for stuff like that. So they did in And like the Bible says, if you see somebody that needs a thousand dollars and you've got a thousand dollars, you're supposed to give it to somebody and never expect it back. Don't tell to give everything yes, you got. No, no, my priest had a talk on the, not too long ago. The Bible teaches you take poverty. You help people in the needy. You take care of your widows and orphans, and you give a certain percent to the church, but it doesn't say to deprive yourself yeah. of anything, but you are to help people in need. If you don't deprive yourself, you're being selfish. <laughs> All your worldly goods you gain on this earth, are you not supposed to? And it says... You're just supposed to barely get past starving, that's all. You're supposed to survive. <laughs> well, now, I just don't think I agree with all that. <laughs> That's like and a preacher. Poor used dogs, that's why they run well with them. Trying to get what you've got. Right? Get a little bit well, Look at all the things that's happening today in the name of religion. You get Billy Graham Crusade, you get Oral Roberts, you get the Jimmy John. PTL Club. Well, now I don't believe in everything they have to do. Okay, I mean. Who's right and who's wrong? That's where you've got to draw a line in that. But all of them are in the Catholic Church and all of them. They're mm -hmm. filthy rich and just getting rich every day. The Seventh-day Adventists think that the best things are That's not what the Bible teaches. People. It may not, When a church goes church. up out here and he builds a big spire up off of that church, it costs $100,000. Mm -hmm. Why don't you leave the spire off and take that $100,000 and give it to the widows and the orphans? Well, that's supposed to be no, a rocket ship, which is how they got here. How do they get a new church started, James? Don't they come start a building fund? First, you've got to define a church. A church is a group of people gathered together to worship right. God, and you can do that out of the field. Well, that's true. If you could get a large enough group, I would say you would get very few. Okay. So you've got a bunch of selfish people that have to sit in an air conditioning and sit there one or two hours on Sunday and go out and raise hell all week long. If that's what they want to do, that's also, why Byron doesn't go. But at least Byron keeps quiet because he doesn't go. <laughs> and he doesn't come in on this. I go. Yes. So he doesn't say anything. Yes. Well, everybody's their own kid. Because I get mad. Well, that's right. She gets mad. You keep talking. You're going to have a fight on your hands. Yeah. <laughs> 
I go. But anybody that That's doesn't go, about. I feel like they can't talk. It's like living, having no home and saying to me, I don't like your home because when I do get a home, I'm going to have this and I'm going to get this and I'm going to have this. I'm affording what I can have and I've got it. The one who says they wouldn't have it because it's not good enough, in the meantime, they don't have zero. You think, turns church, me off. You think a church is essential to salvation? Is the center? It is it essential? No, not really. Then a person the can be hang good. Up on the church. I like to go to church. If a person studies the Bible, reads it, has a good understanding of it, he don't need to No, I'm not that arguing that. that. Also, you should meet once a week. So I say the house of God, should I should be in a visit. continuous meeting. It shouldn't be once a week. It should be all the well, time. Well, you should live your That's life right. daily. Right. But once a week, all you do is show your ignorance and have to sit there and listen to somebody else. And the tell church. You what it's all about. The church is used. You go to church not to hear the preacher so much as you do to observe the Lord's Supper and what it represents. That's what you're supposed to do. You're witness to it. Really that just shows you how to go on a diet. Just take one little sip of this and a little bite of that. Well, and that's why you might not be looking And a lot of good intentions to do better for the next coming week. I think the church would instill into a person the desire to live better. Yeah. Other than that, I don't think the church is essential to salvation because you don't have to do two things to be saved. Well, if you say you don't have to go to church, you don't. You don't have to go to church. But the church, like Juanita said, is the center, and that's where the mass is. It's good. There's no doubt right. about it. It's good. Uh -huh. The priest but could hold it out <laughs> door for that matter. If you what, could get enough what people I'm talking to go about door. is not the church. I'm talking about the congregation. The people that go to church and the types lives that they live all week long and then they'll put on their fine clothes and go to church on Sunday and sit up there and the church itself, the Catholic Church included, has quit teaching people things out of the Bible. They're conforming to the people's belief instead of the people conforming to the biblical belief. Because the biblical beliefs have so far that day that you could not do it. Then there weren't that many people on earth, so they said, keep having children. Now they can't do that. But they have said that those people who are not married do not have abortions because we will raise your children and support your children. Do you think that's right? No. I don't need that. But again, if you're talking about people, I don't have to go to church to dislike people and say, look, they're not living the way I want. I can go in any form of life. I can go into my office on a daily basis and dislike the people I see or what they do. But I can't do anything about it except to try to be a better example myself. That's true. Good. He's retrying. Of course I quit. Hindu, a Buddha, or whatever. The when they read ahead, they had to study. They don't know. Well, who what condemns these people anymore? Surely not the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church stays away from it more than the others. The Catholic Church is becoming very formal in supporting and giving money to let the Vietnam in, the Cubans in, and now the Haitians in. Now, how many more people can this government The government's support? not supporting them. We're supporting them. Yes, but the government is allowing them to do it. According to the Christian belief, mm -hmm. we've got to take everything. And how do you like the criminals that are coming uh, in? Y'all are not letting like them speak at all. I don't need them. I don't need them. Better them. not to it. Well, how do you like the way they are? Well, how do you some of these forts that they put them up in? I don't know who the worst time they do that, they ought to send them back. They've done it. They've done it. And they're trying to pacify them now. That's because you've got so many people. Hey, Mama. They're comfortable. 
they don't have to worry about it. And they think it's the right thing to do according to the Christian teaching, which we are a nation under God. So according to their teachings, we should gather up anybody we can gather, bring them in our own home, take care of them, well, do anything we can possibly do. We're supposed to have a quote, James. We're supposed to have a quote. The government says, open the doors. The people came in because they said there was opportunity in the United States. They get off the boat, and it's not good enough that they have the opportunity to be here. The government then puts them off and houses them. The conditions are too bad for these people. They don't care now how they had it back in Cuba or Haiti. They don't like what they've got now, which is supposed to be better After than After they're they over here six months to a year, they're going to be wanting something better than you. Naturally. There you and go. And they're going to get it. And I think they'll take it. Is that good? They'll take it. They'll take it. They'll take it. But as far as the quota goes, that's just like uh, you go to a priest and you tell them, say, well, I've got three, four kids, I think that's a little. He says, it's not. They say, go by your conscience now. What's your conscience you telling you? You don't know whether you can support another one or not. We don't know that we can't take another million people over here and feed them and take care of them and provide for them. Well, you, when, you you can, when you cannot find jobs with the number of people that have been over in P&G, and, and the ones on welfare, the government should stop with those people and help them first right, before what taking any more time. What you're comparing it to is our standard of living. Everybody must have a job. Everybody must have a new home, everybody no, must have no, an no, 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 like no, 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 a person cannot take one verse out of the Bible and decide what it means without reading what comes before it and what comes after it. I think you have to study it. And also what's been left out of it. How do Look. you know what's been left out? About reading more books. Yeah, the Bible is not in the Bible. They've got books. They claim it's left out of the Bible. You what can get them in the bookstore. Well, there's three more oh, books in the Catholic edition than there is in the King James Version. And you can go to the bookstore and get a book that thick on stuff that has been left out of the Bible, they say. Now, who's right, King James, when he translated it, Catholics, when they've done it, or all of them put together? Okay, I'm this book you can buy, it, it gives Christ's life from the time he was born on it until he was 12 years old. Well, there's nothing in the Bible that speaks of it. They say it was left out of the Bible. Now, I don't know who's right and who's wrong. But we, we won't never know who's right. Yeah. The only thing a person can do is the way they believe. And in their heart, they're all going to end up at the same place anyway. For one thing, you don't believe here anyway. You believe with this stuff up in, the, in your head. Believe it with now, your heart. a lot of people will not feet. believe with their head. They'll believe with their heart. Right. Come on, believe in other people. But there's one theory talking about theories, Juanita. There's a theory that the Bible used to teach evolution. That you come into this world, you died, your spirit went off to another place where it just itself. And it's hard to accept, too. It's not meaning that we as human beings are tend to lose. We are leaning to but then this spirit can have anything it wants. It's happy. It's not what you want it to do. Turn it around to here and back in this life again. And the spirit comes back into another human being. And it's reincarnation. And they say they talk. Animal. No, not necessarily. Do you believe in reincarnation? No, I don't. It said they talk this belief before no one's time. You don't really know. There's nobody knows what happened to them after that, because there's nobody in their name. Some of them claim to have them, but they claim they've seen a part of it. But they said they talked this belief before no one's time. Well, that's what they said. 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 Well, Wait a minute, they didn't like right on him that way. So they sent the blood, and all they saved was Noah and his family. Mm -hmm. And they took that part out of the teaching because it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work today. 
but you could take one thing out of the Bible. If there wasn't a teaching that you would have eternal life, you wouldn't be any Christians to start with. Just take that one little piece out of it. We're selfish. We're looking for something for ourselves. And we can attain it through Christian beliefs. We will have eternal life. You take that part out of it. Like we're being Christian. Jesus Christ, I've been that whole life and on the death bed, you can be absolved of everything. Yeah. That's true. So why should they live that whole life as a good Christian? I don't and that's what you said. That. They are compelled. A person themselves compels them. A person disciplines themselves because you could wait until your deathbed and say, I want to be absolved, and you will. But your whole life is in your eyes. I'm not saying it is. I'm saying this is how it could I'm be. I'm saying you're absolved whether you want to be absolved or not because hell. when you die, you cannot punish that dead person. Dead but person. what's the matter with right? hell? I don't believe in hell. Oh, okay. Hell. You don't believe in heaven either. <laughs> oh, well, then there's nothing. There's a nothing. There's a void. No, there's nothing. I think that you're reborn through your children. If, you're, if you don't have no children, you stop right there. So your life goes on with, in your children. Yeah. Right. But don't you think a lot of what went on in your life is instilled in your children? Yeah. So well, therefore, you would believe. say you should be good. Right? Yeah. So that your children will be good. Of course, the people cooperate in an organized way, the, the more powerful those people are. But that's what the Jews demonstrate. They're organized very highly. They are. And they get power from that. And the least organized, if you operate as an individual, you lose your power quite a bit. Because as an individual, you don't do much. And you can set an example, but if nobody really looks at you or cares, your example is not really amounting to much. Quiet. goes on with in your children. Yeah. Right. But don't you think a lot of what went on in your life is instilled in your children? Yeah. So well, therefore you would believe. say you should be good, right? Yeah. So that your children will well, be good. Of course, the people cooperate in an organized way, the, the more powerful those people are. But that's what the Jews demonstrate. They're organized very highly. They are. And they get power from that. And the least organized, if you operate as an individual, you lose your power quite a bit. Because as an individual, you don't do much. You can set an example, but if nobody really looks at you or cares, your example is not really amounting to much. Except you in your own immediate family. Yeah, and to yourself right. and your own right. group. It's going to be too bad you walk up down there with a shovel and then I go. And you say, I wish I believed. Yeah. Look at it. You are what you are because that's the way you believe. It's the way you've been taught. The reason you are a Catholic is because you were born of Catholic parents and had Catholic teachers. If your parents had been Jews, more than likely you'd be a Jew. That's true. Mm -hmm. But you do have the option to well, be changed. You I know. Everybody I was, raised, does. I, was, I was raised up as a Presbyterian, then I got well, wrong. I went to the Methodist, and then I went to the that's still That's still all. Those are your cousins. Are. No, those are what you call hedgehoppers. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of them, but uh, it's still all Christianity. Is what I I'm believe saying. that when you start talking about Jewish, I don't know who to turn to. One of the other. Sure, you can't go fast enough, can you? And but that's one thing the Catholic Church teaches against. <laughs> it does. But again, I'm relating to something different. You can what you call a hedgehog, and when you, you can spend your whole life trying to find answers, skipping from one thing to another, and I will include college at this time because of some friends of my daughter's who could not even decide upon a major in their junior year. They would even remain five years. I call that hitchhopping. Then they do graduate from college, and they again don't even know what right. occupation they should yeah. pursue. And they spend years not even okay. working but or working at something menial. So how are you going to ever find out if you're right and wrong if you don't bother to study the others? Okay. Study what others? Any others. They have been studying. If you spend all this time studying, you should come to some decision. Just because. Give us that one, baby. Yeah, you should. Just because one teacher teaches something one day and you don't get another opinion, that don't necessarily mean you don't you're go through, right. You don't go through school with one professor. You not only get your learning from each professor, but from every person you come You're in contact with. You're talking about strictly college. Now, I'm talking about the entire belief that you have. That's no, political again, beliefs, right. uh, religious beliefs, daily beliefs, Don't you think the people beliefs, you come into everything. contact with have 
some kind of an effect upon you. Now, y'all talk one at a time. Unless you've got a closed mind. If you've got a closed mind, can't anybody talk to you. I think the majority grow up to be what this brought up to be. A person that is a person that has a cold, closed mind is a person that believes they're doing right and they're not going to change. They're not going to study anything else. I also think that a person can be brought up and then change right around and be the exact opposite of how they were brought up. Because something in their upbringing they dislike. Mm -hmm. So at a certain age they decide this isn't for me. But again, they have to do it. Well, let me with you there. Why? Can I get the Linda? Sure, you can get her with it. But I don't think your upbringing has very uh -huh. much part to play in your life. I think it's your genetic structure, your chemical makeup. Mm -hmm. determines what a person is going to be and all of the race in the world is not going to change. Well, I would you like see to criminals so. coming out of good homes, bad yeah, homes, right. you see all kinds. And I don't think you bring it up has very much to do with it. Well, then my how my do you parents decide? raised me and Byron right. and Bill all right. the same way. Look what you got. That's what I was just saying. Say. Well, you, you got to talk bad about it. Right, but there is something lacking. But that is that person's individual makeup that made him that way. It wasn't a rearing that he had. It could be. Linda it could be home. neglected home, no matter how much money you it have. It could be blamed there, but if you're going to blame that, all it can blame everybody that has a neglected home to be bad, and that's not true. No, you can't do that. You have to do it on an individual basis. You can't. Why not? Because it won't work. You can't prove it. You, you can say this person turned bad because of this set of circumstances. Y'all tell me. This is my camera. Maybe not. This is my camera. If y'all don't let me speak, I'm going to just cut it off. What are you trying to do, Paul? Better hurry up. We have to leave, Billy. Now, what was the question? I don't know that there was a question anymore. I was talking about, she talks about the way a child is raised determines how the child turns out, and I say you don't have it much, very much, very much. No, very much. I said how they're raised plus their daily okay. I don't involvement in other people. Okay. 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 May this lady have the floor to Okay, see, the way you I agree to a certain extent. That's all you then, can. You can't agree with anybody. All right, early. for instance. I raise my kids the best I can, but when they reach a certain age, there's nothing you can do about what they do. So they bear the wrong way. But in the back of their mind, they are going to remember and eventually come back to the way they were. They will if they desire to do so. It's strictly up to them. More than likely, they will because they know they're going to. Hey, let me have a camera for you. They might write on And if so, we're brought up to do it, Tom. No, no, turn over and off of them. But it was me saying that. Who's right and who's wrong? I don't think that's what you're saying, right? This is all a bunch of lies, 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 lies. Trying to get away from this. And those who have money 
will get themselves the The true call. believer gives so other people a chance to call. <laughs> they think they're living, but that is not living. It is to them. God's looking at you. It's, it's not God. You <laughs> point to call that don't agree yeah. with the way you think, and this it's not to me. This is My dad. But they're still living. Chris, you ain't supposed My to My aunt won't even oh, ride the subway right. trains anymore. You know there's only two things My you're going to do in this world. My daughter won't stay in her own house anymore by herself. See, she's, she's scared. She's worked so darn hard to pay for. Really? She's scared. Yes, and I was made last night. I was like, somebody break in? Scared? Yeah. It's through it to come. Is this Janet? Oh, Byron's mother was saying something. What's that? What happened? And you store a three of all three dollars down and just oh, call the way right here. Yeah. Oh, oh, the door was the place. Broke out the glass. Oh, his oh, mother okay. lives next door. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they didn't hear anything. No, that wasn't there. See, Janet's and Roger were in Florida. Yeah, second time. Janet's and Roger were in Florida. No, I mean his parents, don't they? They were taking care of the store while Janet and Roger took a week's vacation to go to Florida. Somebody must have been watching. Them, don't you think? Oh, yeah. They got her microwave. Uh-huh. Done. Oh, wow. Well, I don't blame her then. I'd be afraid also. But they but get back to Sue's house, too. Well, they're shouting. They have a couple dead door locked on the doors, or? Well, I guess that, if they want to get in, in they'll get in and tear everything. That's just like that door there. You, you lock it. Well, all you got to do is knock a corner and glass. Yeah, but well, see, if the double dead boy yeah, yeah. bowl yeah. lock, they just have three dead boys, and they just kick them in. Yeah. It wouldn't yeah. matter yeah. what you had. They spun them all over. Well, if they, 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 they kick the doors off, because you can take a crowbar, you know, and yeah. get loose of anything. Yeah. 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 That's just like out of this store. You built it out of brick old blocks. I can take a sledgehammer and be in the store. Oh, yeah. 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 Knock a whole wall out. I hope I'm not home with anybody just that. I broke my room. Watch where you go. That's right. Let me yeah. tell you, what about Sue, you know about Sue. Yeah. Hers was one of them, and she found some of her stuff at a warehouse on Nolan Road. Yes, but Roger went over no, there, and he that, could that's part of the that 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 I think that's one of the I, I guess. Yeah, he put but the, the uh, guy that he was talking to asked him what scared him away from the house more than anything else. Mm -hmm. And he said that neighbors didn't bother him. That, well, that uh, dog sitting by And the silver locks you got on the door, the but more that determined don't necessarily or something like that. Because you think that way don't make it right. Because I think that way don't make it right either. They think that one man is in there. That's his proof. He said the only thing that bothered him is not the other way. Yeah, he said the only thing that bothered him is not the other way. And it was put up in the living room. Make sure he went out of the bed. He went out of the bed. He went out of the bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't do that until you study a whole lot. Yeah, you've got to find study. Well, this is a thing. Every old fine, I think, most of the people who break in at night, they do it in the day. At night, they can't tell if somebody's right inside with a gun. Well, that's not what you can't tell. Oh, yeah, honey. She likes it. I already got my pink dress on. Be dirty. Well, we're gone. I'm sorry. 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 I
don't have my dog. We have to box and everything else. I don't like my dog. 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 Hey, baby, we'd be out in the field. Oh, the image changes depending on what side of the image. He wasn't a traitor to him. Well, the Jews took him. The powerful people done it to him because they didn't want any competition. The people were the Jews. They were the ones that took control back. They were the ones that burned Rome, so to speak. I don't think so. Normally, if you're home, they don't bother. They took over the religion. They established the seminary. Said this is what such and such means. We've got this thing in our neighborhood where the people next door and the people across the street, we have each other's phone numbers. The whole thing would come out. And we call somebody in their driveway. People across the street. They went up to the house. King's Prairie. They're not always married, you know. And like, where did you get that? They said, "Well, we got it." And we were home all the time anyway. We walked it. Yeah, 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 we